Jamie Hartman, one of two Elite Series rookies. Uh, first and second, you were in second going out this morning. Your first Elite Series tournament. It's got to feel awesome. Uh, we're going to talk about how you caught them a little bit, but right now, tell me how you feel inside. <laughs> Having a chance, a great chance, according to Bass Track, to win your first event. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know, man. I kept my head down all day, so it hasn't hit me at all. Um, I, I did make a decision to come in early because right towards the end, the wind started blowing. Like yeah, there's a front coming in, so uh, I just was like, man, <laughs> I might. I started doing numbers real quick right at the end. And I said, I, you know, if I got it, I got it. If I don't, well, I'm not going to make a stupid decision and have something happen on the way in. So I decided to come in 10 minutes early. And uh, cool. I, I mean, I feel good. I, it's my, I think it's my best bag so great. of the week. Great, great. All right. This morning, one thing I noticed, I mean, you seem calm uh, for, like I say, your first elite event and, and having a chance to win going into the, the final day for sure. And you said, I'm just going to finish like this bug turn. Focus the whole time, but then when you came in early, you got close to dock and you started hiding all your good stuff. The difference between <laughs> this and a club tournament is you got to show us your yeah, stuff, show I us what you it. used and how you caught them. Well, this is all I use, man, the whole week. Um, I used two baits. Well, it's one bait, it's this, um, this, and this one here. That's all I did right there, and I just kept swapping them. Just kept changing out the colors throughout the day and then when I went for the largemouth um, which I had a key largemouth on on day two I believe it was uh, it's a Rye Bates Minima jig it's their prototype jig right there uh, it's just a little finesse jig which I thought would be absolutely perfect for wintering you know largemouth if, as much as I know of, of wintering largemouth you know but it seemed to work because they certainly ate it I caught two that day and I had two bites yesterday so um, just an awesome, awesome little compact bait, and that's basically all I threw all day. And this rod only came out for, you know, 45 minutes throughout the day. That's it. Okay. You said this morning that this is what you do. Where you're from? You use your electronics. You drop down on the fish. You catch it. I'm gonna bet 90 percent of the time or more it's with a drop shot, right? Yeah. That's it. Why not a drop shot here? They just, I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, they say a bass is a bass is a bass, but not here. Not here. That's the <laughs> they, best way to put it. The guys did. They drop shot it. I tried it in practice. I mean, you know, before cutoff back in December, and, and I tried it a bunch. I'm like, there's no way a smallmouth ain't going to eat a drop shot. I mean, I got drop shot baits, you know what right. I mean? Like, right. I got the good stuff, and right. uh, they wouldn't touch it. I mean, they just would not touch it. So this is the deal down here. I have no idea who figured it out. But I got wind of it and put it all together. And I mean, it's basically a suspended drop shot. You just put it off the bottom. That's it, man. It just, you know, today was, today was a little different. They were finicky for me, but I figured it out really quick. The bait had to stay tight to the bottom. I, normally, it's a foot, foot and a half off the bottom. If I had it over six inches, they wouldn't eat it. Wow. That's the difference between winning and finishing fifth i mean just those things you need to figure out each and every day every day no matter what it's an awesome start to your elite career and congratulations too close to call but congratulations either way thank you thank you, you very much